Yeah, I think uh, I don't know if it was out of plan or what. They didn't give me a whole lot of time to uh, to get nervous and to think about it a lot. I think it was about 6:30 last night when when he let me know that I was I was going to get the start. So you know, at that point, it was just a just a matter of getting to sleep and uh, getting some good rest. Okay, we'll start right over here in the center. You guys study these these uh, players for the Rangers, and you had Hamilton up, Beltre. What was in your mind as you didn't get to make those right pitches? Well, uh, you know, I'm, I've never faced this lineup before, and uh, you know, that was really where I just had to trust what Shop was putting down. And you know, I know he had studied these guys a lot before, and uh, you know, he's, he's played against them a lot. So really, it was, you know, whatever whatever he was rolling with, I was rolling with too. So, okay. gentleman standing on the left over there. Uh, well, I, I really think that, uh, you know, Johnny's home run in the second uh, gave all of us a little a little fresh air, um, took some of the intensity, uh, the pressure that we were putting on ourselves early. I mean, I don't know if Matt will admit it, but I know for a fact that when you get an early lead, it helps. It helps a lot, especially for a guy on a big stage. Um, you know, so Johnny hitting that home run early kind of gave us all a chance to just breathe. but. You know, he, he was falling behind hitters, and the, and the ball Johnny hit, I think, was a 3-1 count. So, um, you know, when, when any pitcher, uh, no matter who it is, is falling behind hitters, and uh, they get a chance to <clears throat> to get a, uh, a better chance of getting a fastball to hit, you know, uh, you got a chance uh, to do some damage, and, and Johnny helped us out big there. Stay in the left and back row there. Kelly, yeah, can you just talk about how special this moment was for you being from here and uh, you know, take the bull by the rain, so to speak? Um, well, I mean, Crazy. I have, you know, historically never really played great here, um, but I, I just think it's, it's such a neat deal for all the people that helped me along the way and uh, have a chance to to see me play in this atmosphere. Uh, you know, we came in here last year and I didn't play in either game, so I know that I had a lot of family and friends here that uh, were all spread out. I got texts all day that were spread out all throughout the stadium uh, with their Rangers gear on. I'm sure, but. Um, you know, rooting for me uh, silently. So, you know, it's just a nice to come back and play for those people that, that, that helped me get to this point. And, uh, that, you know, what, what a day, what a way to honor those people. Go here on the right to Bob. Kelly, how much did you feel like you two were on the same page and how often at all did he shake you off? <laughs> uh, he shook off a few times, which was very impressive. Uh, a lot of times with a young pitcher, that doesn't happen. Um, you know, they, they put almost all their faith in the catcher, which, you know, I, I think that. Um, you know, I put in enough time and, and, like he said earlier, effort to know that he knows that I'm going to try to put him in a good situation to succeed, um, which is ultimately what I'm doing every time I call a pitch. But, um, you know, it was just one of those days when this guy's pretty good. And um, you know, I think it was about the fifth inning. I said, well, I'll figure out what you want to do. Um, but at that point, you know, we had a big lead and uh, we were uh, re very relaxed. And, and you now he was amazed the way he pounded the zone. I thought that was that was really impressive for a guy on a stage like this. So. Um, you know, it's a great building block for him, and it's a great win for us. Good start. Well, obviously, you had a little bit of a rough season at the plate, but it seemed like you got it down pretty last week. And obviously, not today, but just talk about your confidence level and where it's at. Well, it's just confidence level and where it's at. Well, I mean, uh, you know, anytime you play well, you feel confident. But uh, uh, I, I'm not going to change what I've been thinking all along. Um, sometimes they throw it where I'm swinging, and when they do that, I got a chance to get some hits. Over on the left and in front. No, um, you really can't. I mean, you know, he, I don't know that he's old enough to even understand how well these guys hit at this park, um, which could be good. I mean, it could have played in his favor. Uh, and, you know, we, we got here so fast. Um, you know, three weeks ago, we had no chance of making the playoffs. And um, a rain delay and some timely hitting on the last game of the season. And, and here we are. We don't have time to to feel any pressure, it's time to play. And, you know, I, he, he commented on earlier about, you know, 6.30 uh, getting the nod for game one. Um, but, you know, this is definitely a lineup that um, is feared. I mean, there's no doubt about it, especially in this ballpark. They, they, they are very confident here. And, you know, for him to come out and get ahead, and, and I thought it was, I thought it was 
in their game plan earlier. I mean, I could see that they were going to try to make him get in the zone. Um, you know, a lot of times a young pitcher, uh, especially a young pitcher with great stuff, uh, has a tendency to fall behind and has to rely solely on his fastball. But, you know, they took, uh, I believe the first five hitters may have taken first pitch. So, you know, I felt like that uh, he was able to pound the strike zone. And, you know, it's pretty impressive uh, to see what he do. You know, I hope that, uh, you know, he can learn uh, from some of the mistakes that were made and, and can continue to grow because uh, as it looks like, we're going to need him here in, in, in the future. Front row on the right here. Uh, Matt, uh, Joe said he, you said he, uh, he told you that sometime about six thirty last night you'd be starting. Did he give you any idea before that that you might be in the run, or did you have any suspicion that you might be in the run from the start of game one? Um, you know, not really. We didn't. We hadn't talked about it a whole lot. It was, you know, it's kind of one of those situations. I figured I wasn't pitching. Um, I didn't. I didn't throw in the in the Yankee series. And you know, I think maybe if we would have had to play that 163, I think that was kind of the plan from you know from the get go. And then you know, wound up not not getting the pitch, and you know, kind of opportunity kind of fell in my hands. And you know, I was very grateful for it. Go back row on the right. Um, well, <laughs> the thing is, my last start was at Yankee Stadium, and these guys put up, you know, two touchdowns by the fifth inning, and, you know, here, here we are again after the, f I think it was the fourth or fifth, and we had eight, and, you know, f you know, as a pitcher, and you see that many runs, all, you know, your job is to get your team in the dugout as quick as possible, and the fastest way to do that, you know, is just pound the zone like he was saying, and, uh, you know, we didn't shake off a whole lot, so that, you know, that sped up the game, and, um, you know, some great plays behind us, so. Go with Jerry here on the right. Um, absolutely. I mean, I know, you know, I, I know everybody's name in, in that lineup. Um, you know, I've never faced him before. Uh, it was kind of one of those things. I didn't want to be out of it before I was in it. So, um, you know, having said that, it was, I was going to take it, you know, just take it like any other start. You know, I tried to be as normal, as normal and as calm as possible. And, you know, it was just a matter of, of getting comfortable out there. And, you know, from then on, it was just, it was throwing strikes. In the back on the left. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know if it was a curve bar or a slider until we went through warm-ups in the bullpen before the game. So, uh, you know, he, he hasn't pitched much. You know, I didn't, I, I actually, actually, I knew nothing about him. I saw him throw from the side. Um, I actually went upstairs and watched on TV to try to get a feel when he was throwing Yankee Stadium, uh, trying to get a feel for what he was trying to do to hitters. And um, well, it, it, when a guy can command all his pitches, it, it makes it easier for me to pick one to call. Uh, and, you know, he was able to execute everything today. <clears throat> so, um, you know, learning him is, is a growing process. Like I said, I mean, in the fifth inning, uh, I, he shook a few times and actually had to step off the mound because I wasn't really sure what he was thinking. Um, and he came back and he knew what he wanted to do and he executed the pitch and got a strikeout on it. So um, I went back in then and I said, okay, I'm going to figure out when you want to use this pitch and, and where. And, um, you know, a lot of credit to him. He was very relaxed out. Uh, we joked in the in the bullpen. Some guy was quacking like a duck. We couldn't figure that out. Um, <laughs> but he, you know, he laughed at that. And you know, he his his definitely his emotions were good. He was in the right place. And I, I think he understood too that you know he had to relax and do do the things that um, you know the mechanisms that you have to help yourself do that. So um, you know, very impressed. I don't want to talk too good about him. I'm going to need him to be focused and and, and go out there again and get it done. Stay in the back on the left. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, just, you know, this is this is a different level and I've never been to. You know, everybody here is really good. You know, shops receiving and defense back there. It's, you know, it was really just a matter of getting on the same page with uh, pitch selection, what we wanted to do in a game plan. You know, the... Uh, you know the visual target down there obviously was you know outstanding and it was uh you know really it was just the game plan we had to figure out because everything else was was set up the way it needed to be a couple more before we let him go right in the back and the left again go a little further to the left this time Matt, uh, can you remember what you were doing last october at this time or were you watching the rays uh, on television 
<laughs> yeah, I was watching these post these post game interviews, <laughs> and uh, you know I was watching them play here in Texas. You know I'm glad we got off to a good start, and we got we got two more to go. In the front on the left hand side. <laughs> Actually, his name plate said Matt Moore, and I was like, who's Matt Moore? I thought we had an Adam Moore <laughs> in our system. Uh, you know, nobody's going to forget his name now. I mean, that's a huge stage. Um, you know, but, you know, we, we've been hearing about him for years. I was just confused on his name. But we've been hearing about him for years and, um, you know, what he was able to do in the minor leagues. And, you know, we all saw the Futures game. So it's just a lot of excitement, you know, for him, for him to be here. We actually said the 1st of September, uh, you know, why isn't he here yet? <laughs> you know, we, we could use him. Yeah, um, but he's handled himself well. You know, he's a humble kid, and um, I believe the first day uh, that he showed up in Baltimore, he went in the clubhouse during batting practice and bought bottles of water out for everybody. Um, you know, so I mean, he understands that. Uh, you know, he's got to put some work in, and uh, you know, it's it's a good it's a good way, a good start to uh, get your foot in the door. Uh, like I said, this is a, a huge stage. Very impressed by. Uh, the way he handled himself, you know, the stuff speaks for itself. But, um, you know, when you come out here and, and you're ready and you're a man and you step up to the plate and you perform, uh, you know, you gain a lot of respect from a lot of players. One or two more before we let him go. Let's go with Jerry up here in front of the right. No, you know, that's, there's a good group of guys over there. Um, They've they've always they're very, always very talkative. We always have good conversations when they come to the plate. But um, you know, I, I think they were really focused on trying to get a feel for what he was trying to do. Um, you know, he you know, he mixed his pitches well, was able to throw them all for strikes. And you know, when you haven't seen a guy ever, and they have the, you know that kind of stuff, um, it, it's a challenge. So I know that they were very focused on what they were trying to do up there. Um, and I, I thought that was kind of the chess match that we had to do was figure out a way to keep them off balance. Okay, we'll go right here in the front. Joe, we were talking about how you handle like, Matt and everything behind the plate, but you know, offensively, too. You hit two home runs, two key home runs. Talk about what you were looking for and how you were successful in knocking out. If you'd have held it to your word, we would have went. Two more questions. I've been deflecting that the whole time. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I've, I've got to play a lot here recently, and, and you know, that helps. Uh, that helps a lot when you when you see pitches and uh, you, you don't know if you're going to play the next day. Uh, so it helps to get out there and see a few, and you feel more relaxed at the plate. And like I said, I mean Johnny's home run right in front of us. I mean that was a huge relief for for all of our offense. Uh, um, you know, what we do offensively uh, is different than most people. I mean, you know, we don't have a bunch of boppers out there. Uh, we got a little bit of speed and athleticism, so you know Johnny hitting that home run helped people relax, and, and you know we took advantage of uh, of CJ falling behind a few times and, and got some up count hits. So um, you know, like I said, I, he threw a couple balls where I was swinging, and uh, um, you know they went out. So you know I, I don't know <laughs> as they came to the plate and and said you know we're swinging, I you know I don't know. <laughs> 